This is Linda. We we'll continue with IB uh, physics. Uh, today we're going to solve one question on uh, thermal um, uh, physics, uh, topic uh, three. Uh, we have a, a solid cylinder of height uh, H and density rho rest on a flat surface. So here this is a flat uh, surface and the cylinder it has height. I need to show that the pressure PC, P of the cylinder exerted by the cylinder on this surface equals rho G times H. Rho is the density and we've studied it before. Density, it's mass divided by volume and volume of the cylinder or any uh, solid shape, it's the cross-sectional area times the height, so cross-sectional area times height. And we know from the definition of the pressure, pressure, it's force exerted over a unit area. Now, what is the force that is exerted on this surface area is the weight of the cylinder. How can I find the weight of the cylinder? Is the mass of the cylinder times free fall acceleration, or acceleration due to gravity, divided by area. From this formula, mass is rho times the volume, density times volume. So rho times volume times G divided by area. Rho volume, it's area times the height divided by area. Area and area, they cancel out. So I will get pressure is rho G times H. And this formula, I can use it to calculate the pressure of any fluid, whether the pressure of water, the atmospheric pressure. That's why when we imagine, when we talk about the atmospheric pressure, we say the atmospheric, if we have mountain, the surface of a mountain, and sea, we see the atmospheric pressure here on the sea level is higher than the atmospheric pressure on the mountain. Why? Because the height of um, air, if I, if I imagine there is a column of air that is extend from the surface of sea till the top of the end of the, at, the atmosphere. So here the height of air is longer, is longer than the height of air from the top of mountain till the end of the atmospheric uh, layer. That's why here the pressure or the atmospheric pressure here is, is, is greater than the atmospheric pressure on the mountain. Okay, section two, the same question. Here we have a tube. The tube, um, uh, it has constant cross-sectional area sealed at one end. So I have one end is closed, sealed, and the other end is open to the atmosphere. Contains an ideal gas. So here I have ideal gas trapped here. Okay, and on the top of the ideal gas, there is a mercury. A mercury, it's liquid and more dense uh, than water, denser than the water. The density of mercury is 1.36 times 10 to the power 4. It's heavier than water. Water is 1,000. The length of this mercury is 0 0.035 meter. Okay, I need to show that the atmospheric pressure, since this is open to the atmosphere, so I have here atmospheric pressure, and I have the pressure of the mercury. The pressure of the mercury, he call it PM. Okay, so I need to show that the, the atmospheric pressure plus the pressure of the mercury times the height the height of the trapped gas, so because here I have trapped, if all of them, uh, the pressure of the um, air, atmospheric pressure, and the mercury, and the trapped gas also, all of them, they, because this is has, it has uh, height, it, it weight, all of them, they exerted a force on the bottom of the cylinder. This will equal NR times T, NR times T. We know that, uh, the ideal gas law equation, P pressure times volume equal N number of moles times R universal gas constant times temperature in Kelvin. And volume, it's cross-sectional area times height. Now I have a pressure, atmospheric pressure, and I have 
the uh, uh, pressure of mercury. So I have atmospheric pressure plus the pressure of the mercury, PM. Okay, volume, I have volume area, cross-sectional area times the height. This will give me NR times T. If I divide both sides by the area, so I can divide both sides by the area, and I know the height of the trapped gas here is 0 0.19, I should get this equation. So we proved this formula. Same question now, part C, section C of the same question. Okay, now we flipped the same tube that has a trapped gas, we flipped it upside down. So we have a trapped gas here on the top, mercury down, and still the tube is opened, but is opened where? Down. So in this case, I have the atmospheric pressure in this direction. And the pressure of the mercury here is down. So this is the pressure of the mercury down. You see the direction of the pressure is different. In case, the first case, both of them, atmospheric pressure and the pressure of the mercury, both of them down in the same direction. But here they have different direction. He, the, the height of the trapped gas is 0 0.208. Temperature is still constant. Temperature is still constant. Now I need to determine the value of the atmospheric pressure, this value, how much. I'm going to use the same equation we used before, which is the equation of the ideal gas law. Since the pressure, this equation, since temperature is constant, that means the pressure before this equation, the pressure before times the height will equal the pressure after times the height. So before equal after. Before I have just P naught, the atmospheric pressure plus the pressure of the mercury times the height before the height of the trapped gas, the trapped ideal gas, 0 0.19, equals after, if we uh, say PM uh, down is um, negative, down is negative and up is positive, so it will be P naught minus PM times 0.18. 208. Why did we do that? Because they're not in the same direction. If they're in the same direction, both of them, they will be positive. Okay. Now I can simplify, just distribute and simplify. So it will be 0 0.19 P naught plus 0 0.19 PM equals 0 0.208 P naught minus 0 0.208 PM. Okay, bring P naught together and PM together. So I will have 0 0.19 P naught minus 0 0.208 P naught will equal minus minus 200 208 PM minus 0.19 pm. Can continue here. So I will have negative 0 0.018 p naught will equal negative 398 pm. So P naught negative and negative, they cancel each other out. So P naught, it's 0 0.398 divided by 0 0.18 PM. Okay, let's do this on the calculator. 0 0.398 divided by 0 0.018. This will give me 22.11 PM. Now I can calculate the pressure of mercury is rho g times h. Rho for mercury is 
times 10 to the power 4, G is 10, height of the Mercury after its point O35, and this will give us 4,700 Pascal or Newton, or in Newton per meter square. Atmospheric pressure from this equation will equal 22.11 times PM times 4,700, and this will give us 1.05 times 10 to the power 5 Pascal, or, or we can use a Newton per meter. Okay, that's it. See you on